what's up Uke family Marco here welcome back to another ukulele lesson right at the end of the week and what a week when you have a newborn in the house <coughs> now in this lesson we're gonna learn the last section of romantic vibe and I call this melodic strum because even though we are strumming the chords we are also strumming a melody which is played within the chords while we strum. And we're gonna be using two techniques, the hammer-on and the pull-off technique. Now, first things first, we gotta understand what is going on here. There are three things happening at the same time while I'm playing these chords. The first thing, I'm playing a chord. The second thing, I'm strumming these chords. And then the third thing is that I'm also playing a melody within the chord and I'm using this technique called hammer on and pull off. So when I do it slowly, so sometimes you can hear a note even though I'm not really touching the strings, which is what makes this section interesting. Now, of course, guys, because I'm a good person, and I love my uke family, I'm not gonna throw at you the whole thing to learn and play, right? Instead, I created different levels. So we're gonna start with the melody, which we're gonna practice with the hammer on and pull off technique. Then we're just gonna add one strum, actually two strums. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna add all the strums. So we're gonna start with the finger picking technique just to familiarize yourself with the melody and train your fingers, three fingers, uh, to practice and play the um, hammer on and pull off technique. And by the way, family, this is my mm -hmm. new ukulele, which I'm gonna reveal mm -hmm. next week. Uh, right now, I'm just using it to keep the painting straight because it's usually slanted, but I'm gonna play this thing next week. I'm gonna show it to you because it's a beautiful ukulele. I'm not revealing the brand yet. It's an awesome brand, sounds beautiful. So make sure that you stay tuned. So the goal number one is to learn the melody, which is played with, I think, five notes. We got the first string open, fret number two, open, two, open, and then the fourth string played with the thumb. There are two notes that we're gonna play with the hammer on and the pull off. So you're gonna pluck the first string with the index, then you're gonna hammer the fret number two. So we're not gonna pluck the string, we're gonna get the sound out of the second finger. So we're gonna hammer the fret. Then we're gonna have open with the plucking, fret number two with the plucking, and then I'm gonna pull the string off, right? So I'm not gonna pluck the string again. So plucking, hammer on, plucking, plucking, pull off, thumb on the fourth string. That's it, that's the melody. Now the plucking is always index, hammer on, middle, index, pull off, and thumb. Now the cool thing is that we just trained the middle finger. Now we're gonna have to train the finger number three and the finger number one. And the reason for that is because when we play this melody over the chords, with the first chord, we're gonna use the second finger. With the second chord, we're gonna use the third finger. And with the third chord, we're gonna use, guess what, the first finger. And then, you know, the last uh, chord, the C major, is going to be played with the slightly different melody. But let's get there step by step. So we're gonna play the melody four times, the first time with the finger two. The second time with the finger three. Is the same thing and the third time we D finger one now the last time we're gonna play the melody like this which you realize that it's the same thing we're just um, playing the fret number two with the finger one the hammer on on the fret number three, and then plucking the fret number two, plucking the fret number three, pulling off the fret number three to the fret number two, and playing the fourth string. It's a little bit more challenging. So it's plucking, hammer on, plucking, plucking, pull off, 
and the fourth string. Make sure that when you do the pull off, you are holding the fret number two, guys. Otherwise, you're gonna do the pull off with the open string, which doesn't sound right. So the pull off is done from the fret number three to the fret number two. Now I'm gonna leave you uh, to practice this. Take as much time as you need and then come back for the section two. Now section two is about adding chords to this melody. Of course, you don't wanna look silly just playing this, this thing, right? We're gonna add at least two strums. So the first chord is the G major chord. And we're gonna strum the chord with the index the first and the third time. So it sounds like this. so beautiful I'm mean, I just I love this section to be honest with you I like it more than all the strums because it just sounds so sweet right so we're gonna do one strum and of course we have to follow the melody so when I strum the G major chord I'm actually strumming the first string open so I strum then the melody with the hammer on plucking plucking pull off and the thumb now the second time I'm gonna do the same thing but just with the melody so I'm holding the chord down but I'm just playing the melody so when I put the first the first and the second thing together I have a strum and then no strum the third time I'm gonna strum again and the fourth time no strum So it's nice. Beautiful. Cool thing is that we're going to do the same thing with the other chords. The second chord is the D add 11, I believe. Beautiful sounding chord. Now the hammer on and pull off is done with the third finger, but we trained this finger before. Of course, it's going to be a little bit more challenging because we got three fingers in one fret, but the movement is the same. Now, if I have to be 100% honest with you, this chord is the most challenging and even when I play it, it doesn't sound awesome all the time. Sometimes it sounds a little bit out of tune because the fact that you gotta do the hammer on and pull off, you're pressing a little bit too hard. So you kind of change, you change the intonation. It's something that you gotta have to deal with it and it, it will take a little bit of time before it sounds better, but don't give up, just keep practicing. The third chord is the E minor chord, probably the easiest because we have the hammer on and pull off done with the first finger. And the last chord, the C major chord, which is done with the melody on fret two and three. This is the easiest because we mainly play open strings. Remember that on the C major chord, the melody is slightly different. Uh, it's basically the same thing three times, and then the fourth time we just play the first string of fret number two. So we have. And you let it ring out. Now it's time to strum away. And we're gonna get rid of the finger picking technique, uh, and we're gonna strum everything. Now, how do we do that? The left hand doesn't change. So the only thing that is different now is the right hand approach. And one thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna strum the first chord with the first string open. Then we have the hammer on the fret number two. And then we have uh, another down stroke just on the top two, three strings. Don't strum everything with the first string open. And then we have the up stroke with the first string fret number two, then a pull off, and one up stroke playing the fourth string. So we're not gonna play the fourth string with the thumb anymore, we're gonna do an up stroke. So we're gonna do it slowly. After the up stroke, it's easier to go with the down stroke again. So.
but you could also do a downstroke on the fourth string now that I'm thinking about it just try to find your own way this is the pattern and then of course we're gonna do the same pattern on you know on the different the other chords but the step one just practice this thing on just one chord slowly now the second chord third chord and the, th and the fourth chord the C major beautiful thing when I speed up I play a little bit faster Now, of course, this uh, last chord can be played in a slightly different way. For example, you could make it a little bit busier and play... Um, so I'm just doing the same thing, just uh, with a different set of notes. So it's two and three, three and five, and five and seven. Such a nice embellishment for this chord. And then of course the last thing, um, we can you know kind of change it up a little bit, make it a little bit more uh, rock and roll and just do the same thing. Twice, so rather than just do it four times, we're only gonna do it twice. And then we strum this chord four times, which is still like a G major chord, but with the first string for number five. Three, four, five. It's strummed five times, so. One, two, three, four, five. Second chord. And we have this lovely uh, D major seven chord, but with the first string for number five. For the E minor chord, we're gonna add the first string fret number five. And then we finish with the C major. We can play the fret number seven and just strum away. Can finish with the G major chord. To be honest with you guys, this is well, that was kind of improvised. Like I didn't want to add this, but it feels good to kind of change the rhythm a little bit at the end, just to you know break it down, just to you know kind of play it in a slightly different way. So practice this, but you know don't. Uh, you can come up with your own thing if you want, so don't worry too much about it. Of course, we can connect romantic vibe with melodic strum. Uh, you just gotta get to the last two chords of romantic vibe. And then you start strumming away. Now, I know that it's a lot to process, guys, uh, so really just take it step by step. Enjoy the process, learn the chords, the melody, the hammer on, the pull off, and put it together slowly. Now, I'm gonna leave you to practice this. Have a lovely rest of the day, and I'll talk to you soon.